Uh, tomorrow is Kids News Day. NBC7 is helping to sell newspapers and raise money for Rady Children's Hospital. Researchers there are making really incredible advances to help San Diego kids. Matt Rascone has one family story. Hi, for 22-year-old Savannah and her mother, Ow. life With this kilt. is a giant puzzle. Oh, you started already. One far more difficult to piece together. You picked like the hardest puzzle in the world. From birth to two years old, Savannah was a typical toddler until seizures. We didn't know she was seizing. We thought she was choking. We had no idea. It would be the first of tens of thousands of seizures for the next two decades. It was a nightmare. It was uh, hell. And gradually, Savannah's seizures and learning ability only got worse. <laughs> Despite trying dozens of therapies, drugs, and diets. We had no life. I mean, our life was at the mercy of epilepsy. Rady Children's Hospital became a second home, and her epilepsy response dog, Yukon, a constant companion. Her mother, Tracy Dixon Salazar, even went back to school to get a PhD in neuroscience. We found the cause of her epilepsy. Hoping to help her daughter and the next generation of Savannah's. We went to our doctor at Rady Children's who then put her on a drug that blocks calcium channels. From the time Savannah took the drug at 18, she's gone from hundreds of seizures in one day to about 20 in one month. Come on, the doing. She's doing really well. Um, she's talking. She's sassing us. <gasps> she doesn't spend her day seizing unconscious. High five. <laughs> and it's a whole new life. A new life for Savannah and her family. It's like we're meeting her for the first time since she was two. A journey 20 years in the making. Good job, Savannah. But now, critical pieces of the puzzle yeah, huh? finally coming together. Matt Rascone. Yay! It does fit. NBC7. So, uh, Kids News Day again. It's tomorrow. You can buy a special edition of the San Diego Union at Tribune from 7 in the morning to 3 in the afternoon, and all of the money that they raise will go straight to Radies. You can look for volunteers wearing yellow aprons all over the county. You can also come to our downtown studios. We're at 225 Broadway, and we'll be selling papers here, too. Tonight on NBC7.